today we take a look at the locked crates that can be dropped by the Chinook helicopter. You already know the Chinook from the minicopter tutorial, which is linked here. The locked crates are some of the best crates in Rust. They can give you top level loot. Only the APC Bradley and the Petrol Helicopter have more interesting crates. In the background you can see now the drop probabilities of the locked crates. You can also find this list on Rust Labs. The locked crates are randomly distributed at the large monuments. You will never find a locked crate at the bandit camp, outpost, military tunnels or launch site. Every few hours a military transported helicopter, which you know as the Chinook helicopter, spawns over the sea. This helicopter can shoot but is not aggressive. The Chinook flies from monument to monument until it finds one that is completely empty. He hovers over the monument and controls it by players. If a player is there, the Chinook will disappear again. He will then fly to the next monument. If the monument is free of players, the Chinook will drop a locked crate and disappear again over the sea. The Chinook is stupid. In 90% of the time he will be flying to his favorite monument. So remember where the Chinook spawns and maybe build your base nearby. If you are not yet good at PvP or looking for a quiet place, stay away from locked crates as other players will be attracted by the locked crates. As soon as you have located the crate on the map, you can walk to it. The crate is locked and needs to be hacked. To do this, walk in front of the crate and press E to start the hacking process. A 15 minute countdown will start now. After this countdown has expired, you can open the crate and loot. As soon as the countdown is over and you have prevailed against the other players, you can claim the loot for yourself. Here are some examples of crates I've opened. The coolest things you can get here are the L96, LR300, C4 and explosives, auto turrets or the assault rifle also known as AK. Scopes and supply signets can also be included here. At this point thank you very much for watching, if you have any questions leave them in the comments.